Good evening. Welcome. Thank you for joining me this fine evening and good morning to those of you around the world. Today we're going to talk specifically about how we can improve the success ratio of new unfranchised owners coming into the business. You see, everything we do is about creating new success stories for individuals that we bring into the business based on going through our evaluation, our trial runs, and then understanding that this is the business that can work for them if they work the business. But one of the biggest challenges are there may not be enough trains and events and they may need to have more work on their own because most people that excel in business and in life do the extra, not only going to the trainings or going to the seminars for personal growth and education, but at the same time, spend that additional time to get ahead. Because success is nothing more than a race that we all have to reach out and move forward with. And you know what? It's about the conditioning. It's about the training. It's about getting out there and actually getting into the action, understanding about what you have, what you're doing and where you're going. We're gonna talk about our Unfranchised Learning Center tonight. And I'm gonna give you the high level overview of what we've created here. We have spent countless hours in reviewing the hundreds of videos made available to us from successful unfranchised owners and also from our executive sales team and of course our founder and creator of the Management Performance Compensation Plan and the Market America company itself, the mall without walls as we said back in the 90s and now we've moved on to shop.com as we progress with our customers understanding that buying habits change constantly. And if you're gonna be at the top of the business or at top of the game, you're gonna to have to move with those customers their ways, the way they like to shop and the way that they like to get to purchase the products that they need most. In addition, we also have to continue to keep adding new products to stay in that market-driven environment. And I think it's so important that we understand as unfranchised owners, and if we have clients that are considering to become unfranchised owners, what do we actually have with our unfranchised learning system? So I know we have people from around the globe on tonight, and it's great to have you. But at the same time, each and every one of you have the exact same opportunity because we are the unfranchised business development system. You know, and it's great to understand that no matter where you build, you have the opportunity to grow your business the exact same way as we travel in every other area that you may move to or go into. And so this is important to remember. All right, so as I bring up the presentation for this evening, and as I told you that we're gonna be talking about the Unfranchised Learning Center and spending a great deal of time that our executive sales team have talked to so many different people and understanding our own progress in building throughout the years, we know that this is a simplified and easy way to monitor the success process. We also want you to know it's from the experienced master unfranchise owners that have been consistent, not only in the way that they've built their unfranchised businesses, but in the way that they have earned ongoing supplemental income. And I think we all want that. And for no matter what your reason is, this again is an option that many of us have chosen. For me, I have been an unfranchised owner now in my 29th year, and it's done so much for our family. And while I've worked very hard to get to this level, you have the exact same opportunity. And it's really the correlation of what we do and how well that you put it into motion that's gonna give you the best results financially as well as in the organization that you build. So let's talk about how this all works and what is the logic behind the Unfranchised Learning Center. We wanted to bring that new unfranchised owner in 
at a level where they would understand the progression, the most important things to learn from the very beginning. This is a place that they can review, they can view the videos, read the documentation and come back and do it again if they need reference. But also this is where you can teach your fellow on franchise owners and then refer them to a specific part of the learning center so that they can go back and again review. Because ultimately after we train or teach someone, we have to show them how to implement and then we will watch them how they apply what they learn so that we can effectively coach and get them to eventually lead others because that's the name of the business. It's all about creating new leaders or new organizational components that's gonna carry you with that supplemental income that you're going after. So the logic again, it is first to understand an introduction to our unfranchised management system. So many times I worry about individuals that don't spend the time to explain the importance of our unfranchised management system, our UFMS. That is the one part of our business that is a business expense. And basically it is a monthly payment. It's not very expensive, but it's very affordable, but the return is amazing. The unfranchised management system is something that will keep your business on track and it will track your expenses as well as your profits. And ladies and gentlemen, do not question the fact that we are in business to make a profit. Everybody has to understand this. We are not in business to give away things. We're not in business to lose income. We are in business to number one, make a profit, number two, provide either a service or a product that people are looking for. And in our case, it's a beautiful thing having our product brokerage and internet marketing capabilities. We wanna constantly feed your mind with training, leadership skills and management audios. We need to teach every new unfranchised owner how to speak our market America language. And I will say this, you may not think we have our own language, but when we start talking about the basic five and our nuance and our GMTSS, and then we start talking about our ECCT and the ISMs, BV, IBV, ladies and gentlemen, people don't know what we're talking about. So it's important that they learn to speak our language. And so in time, everybody not only learns our language, but they can speed it up utilizing the letters that represent certain words that mean so many things to us. So that's important when we take a look at that. The next thing that I want to make sure that we understand is that setting up your UFMS, you gotta understand why, okay? Understand the way and understand why. You have to remain active. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not in business to do administrative chores. Does everybody understand that? The UFMS cuts down in our workload in administration so that we constantly do not have to worry about remaining active in the business. We don't have to worry about whether we're going to accrue volume from week to week for a rolling 365 days. Now understand that. A lot of people don't understand if you're not on our unfranchised management system, it's gonna be very iffy or whether or not you're gonna maintain the activity levels to accrue your business volume and internet business volume for that rolling 365 days, which is very powerful. Also, the fact that you must be on the UFMS subscription for your sponsor to be able to place volume in your business development centers. And that would be for business volume or internet business volume, very important. Plus it's the focus on the business, not the administration. We have to focus on what we call the results producing activities. And they, those basically start with retailing products, being able to prospect 
and qualify potential partners into the business, as well as selling education, attending the GMTSS events. Those are your three main ones. Then you're going through time being a product of the product, you'll also develop your shopping annuity. So those are your basic results producing activities and that's where your focus should be, okay? But you have to understand there have been tools to create that we created so that you can take full benefit of everything that we've offered to you. I could never understand why people time to express the importance of being on UFMS. It's a business expense. In the United States, it's nothing more than $21.95 a month. Okay, then you can convert that currency to where you live today or what market you're in. That's not a big expense, especially if you do the business and you plan on building the business. Now, one big part that I have to drive home is our unfranchised auto renewal. Everything that I'm speaking to, it is in the perfect order that gives you everything you need to know about the importance of each of these and the options that you have. Now in creating this slide for you, I want everybody to understand that success takes time. You're not gonna be an overnight success. However, can you be a success in two or three years? Yes. Can you be a success in five years? Yes. Can you be a success in 10 years? Yes. And you know what I see? I see that no matter what amount of time that it takes, it doesn't seem that long if you're enjoying the journey. So think about the two options that we have for basically auto renewal. Auto renewal that you just click the button, you have an active credit card on account. And remember that backup credit card account in the event that that first credit card expires or is overdrawn, you have that second to back it up and it automatically renews your unfranchised business. Now that's gonna be 12 months from the time that you started your business. Now, if you don't choose to do an auto renewal, you have to print off a manual renewal and physically complete it and mail it into Market America so that it needs to arrive on time. If you choose that manual route, which I do not recommend, be sure to do it a month ahead of time because we just don't know how fast that mail is going to arrive. If you did mail it, I'd recommend you overnight it or send it in a manner where you can track that Market America has received it. But ladies and gentlemen, this is the 21st century, so take advantage of the auto renewal, okay? Now, what do we mean by the two to three year plan? Well, basically it's two to three years to set the foundation, okay? Just remember that you don't wanna put in that time and not renew from year to year. What are the consequences? If you don't renew, you revert back to a sales rep, meaning that you no longer can accrue volume, and also you don't get to participate in the management performance compensation plan. However, you can collect retail profits, but you can't collect that ongoing supplemental income that's what we're looking for. Now, again, unfranchised auto renewal. You must make sure that every new partner you bring in and including check yourself in the back office that you are on the auto renewal for your annual renewal. Now, ordering products. Ordering products is the lifeblood of our business. We've got to order and sell products. So. What do we have to learn how to? How to order? Where do we go? How do we locate the products that we want? What is the process to order as an unfranchised owner? We have a complete section that takes you through play by play, step by step on how to make an effective order. 
And that includes placing business volume in the process as you order and the different ways of payment. So if you don't think that's important, then how do you expect to build your organization, a profitable organization that will create set success as well as new leadership? You got to know how to order your products. One of the things I can assure you, we have a lot of exclusive brands. So it's very important that you know how to find them. And remember, we have 12 different divisions or university majors. So there's going to be times when your existing clients buy from your existing products you represent, but want a product from another division. So you want to be able to know how to locate it and order it and know how and when it's going to arrive. Very important part of what we do. Inventory management. To me, this is so important to keep track of your business inventory. Now, I sort of laid out the strategy behind this, okay? You've got to treat your business as a business, which means keeping track of your inventory. Now, in our business as an unfranchised owner, you don't need a lot of inventory. You probably might have eight to 10 products, your most popular products. People that have been in the business longer with a larger customer base might have more products on hand, but you have to understand inventory is money, 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 money. Okay. And we have to track it because it's important for tax purposes. It is also important for accountability. What do you mean, Dennis? Well, the accountability is not only accountability to yourself and your business, but it's the accountability back to market America based on you earning that supplemental income in BV and IBV commissions, as well as bonuses. To earn that, you've got to be able to bring products to the end consumer and prove that. So that's very important for you to remember. So inventory management, and then we have to make sure we review our inventory management each quarter, all right? Because at the end of the calendar quarter, if we don't update our inventory, you will not be able to place new orders or fill orders from your inventory based on the fact that it's not been updated. Now, it is not complicated, but on your learning center, there is a simplified video available as well as a script in how you can work with your inventory management system. Take the time to go through that. This is very important. I'm gonna say it again. You must do your inventory management every calendar quarter. So you should probably get on it the last two weeks before a calendar quarter is up. Also, anytime you make an order from the company, and that includes your monthly auto ship, that will automatically be put into your inventory. So no matter what you order from the company, when you have it shipped to yourself, to your address, it's automatically placed in your inventory system. So you can visit this in your back office and you will be able to see exactly how it works. Very powerful. And I'll tell you another thing. We are the kind of company that's thinking about your future and your future supplemental income that you'll be earning. Because ladies and gentlemen, it's Market America's responsibility to make sure its independent contractors are supporting and complying with the necessary regulatory environment that's going to allow us to continue to build this business for generations to come. And I just want to remind you, was you build your successful business, I'm on my way to 30 years and being an unfranchised owner, eventually you're going to pass it off to your children or someone that's special to you, and they're gonna have to understand how to build that business. So this is another big area of the, the learning uh, management system that is so important that does such a great job in putting it together. One of the areas that I want all of you to get better at is registering a preferred customer. 
Okay, so very carefully understand that anyone you sell a product to physically, you need to be able to go and create that person, that customer as a new preferred customer. And I'll go through that process. If a person buys on your website, any one of the Market America websites, shop.com, isotonics.com, motorscosmetics.com, tlslim.com, our web centers, our Lumiere de V, our layer jewelry, they are automatically put into your preferred customer system. So again, let's think of the logic, okay? This is a section right in your learning management system. Your unfranchised business is a retail driven, okay? We want to make sure, for example, that we can identify who our customers are. The best way is to create the new customer. Even if a person signs up as a customer on your website, there's more information to gather. So you should always check your preferred customer manager back office so that you can see who your preferred customers and what basic information you have on them. You should have their addresses, their phone number, their uh, information on how or when's the best time to contact them. And in addition to that, all right, you'll also be able to collect advanced details. Are they married? Do they have children? Do they have pets? Do they live in an apartment? Do they live in a home? These are the kind of things that we want to know. Are they using one product, three products? Which products are they? All of these things will help you market more efficiently to your preferred customer base. It's quick, it's easy. And so when you start looking for this, you simply go to your shop.com URL, learn more, my customer, create a new customer. All right, you can become a customer at shop.com when you come in just to learn more. And number two, you can go right into your UFMS under customers and create a new customer. Very important to remember, registering preferred customers and marketing to them. I will say this to you. Market America, Market Malaysia, Market Taiwan, Market uh, United Kingdom, Market Australia, Market Hong Kong, Market Singapore, our friends in Canada, we all have the ability to register preferred customers. So you should do that. And we all have the ability to leverage the company's marketing efforts, whether it be their Facebook programs, whether it be the website information or specials for holiday shopping, special occasion shopping. You want to market and remember, build the share of customer as we build our business. The websites available for retailing and marketing, here they are listed, they're all here. And isn't it amazing for just your registration of coming in as an unfranchised owner, you get all of these updated websites that are e-commerce enabled for you, the ones that are selling, other ones provide information to be able to sell literally around the world. If you don't know, when you come into our business, you even get a global.shop.com and we ship to over a hundred countries. And it's amazing what you can do from your home or from wherever you're traveling. You can literally carry your business with you on your mobile phone, on your tablet or your laptop. It's your decision how you like to do it best. But I love this business because we are retail driven. We are professionals in the way that we support our preferred customers and track information and provide marketing information for you. And not only the marketing information, how about the education that we can send content to from our unfranchised blogs. So many great ways to keep your customers close and keep them informed so that they'll be lifetime customers for you or your future business partners. Logging in and using your shop.com site. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a great segment of the Learning Center in which will help you maximize the use of your shop.com site. Remember, always as unfranchised owners, 
It's all about learning about your Market America exclusive brands and you'll purchase them on unfranchise.com. But when you're going to shop at our partner stores, you will go to shop.com online shopping and always remember it'll teach you and show you to sign in as a preferred customer so you get full benefits of doubling internet business volume with each purchase it's amazing you gotta love it you know so now i love this portion of the learning center to me, the first 30 days of an unfranchised owner is so important. And we've got an amazing segment for you to work with and understanding the big picture as you come in. And our own founder and CEO, J.R. Reidinger, talks about the fundamentals of the business and understanding what has to get done. Then we basically show you in building the business, we show you the philosophies and how that's done, We've got a pathway for you to follow through our getting started guide in which we speak to. We talk to you about the shopping annuity and its assessment. And if you didn't know, every one of us as unfranchised owners, we have to fulfill the quarterly requirement of your shopping annuity assessment. So you've got a video library, you can shop, for your business support materials too. So all of these things you need to learn about in your first 30 days. I am telling you, we have an abundance of information and sometimes it can become overwhelming. But as long as you keep in perspective the simplicity of our business, of the results producing activities, it will be your guiding light and everything that you learn will support those basic fundamental results producing activities. It's really hard teaching so many entrepreneurs because we all have different styles of learning. So we have different tools to find out which ones are best for you. Also in your first 30 days, we're gonna teach you about product knowledge, becoming a product of the product. And very important from your getting started guide for belief we help you and show you how to build your base 10. That is establishing your first 10 repeat customers of the business. And it's great for featuring health and nutrition, but we have all the majors with their respective information and websites. It's important that you understand that the first 30 days are when you have your best opportunity at the highest point to influence those new partners to basically understand and build the business correctly. You know, we have a saying, and I will be one to admit it, I had to hurry up and fail before I paid attention to do it the right way. But now we know how to do this, and you can save yourself a lot of time by simply following the information. <clears throat> so, establishing your foundation, critical in what we do. All right, it's important. And what's the best way to establish your foundation? The basic five. Yes, the basic five. All of you should know this. <clears throat> but there's one thing I'm gonna tell you, in your learning center, we do a great job in offering you insight to these five principles. Attitude and knowledge, establishing your goals and action plan. It includes also talking about accountability, how to retail, the importance of retailing and cash flow, business building with prospecting, qualifying, sponsoring, follow up, and the ABC pattern of duplication. Understand these five principles actually will always be your guiding light in growing your business. And these are things that you can learn over and over again. And through your experience and years, you'll become not only a success, but a great teacher for your organization and unfranchised owners around the world. It's a great place to be. To me, this is everything. It makes so much sense. This basically puts together in a package exactly what we have to master to make this like breathing. It's a rhythm of the business. And so you should spend time here. We have different training 
um, videos on each of these by different teachers that are highly successful. So we always say you should hear something seven times from seven different people, and it's no different in our learning center. So that's important. So for me and for all unfranchised owners, the basic five is the turning point, okay? That's critical. Please remember that. The turning point will be when you start implementing the basic five every day without even knowing you're doing it. It becomes that habit that just flows with your day. The other thing that you need to understand is our shopping annuity assessments. Why do we do this? For the simple reason we want to make sure that you're maximizing the opportunity to convert spending into earning. Listen, shopping annuity is icing on the cake. It's another way to add on to your supplemental income by simply buying the things you usually buy. And as your organization grows and you understand our compensation plan, you're getting 100% of every purchase that's made by not only your teammates, but their customers when they shop at shop.com. It's powerful. You have to embrace that. It's part of our culture. It may not happen the first or second or third year of the business, but by implementing it as part of your culture of your business, it will duplicate through your organization and pay back huge dividends. You have to become a product of the program. And it's so important to remember that it's not just becoming a product of the product or a product of the compensation plan or the product of the GMTSS. It's a product of the entire belief system that we've incorporated in the unfranchised business. And though all of the things that we do in our unfranchised business is really from the unfranchised business development system. So it's a series of many systems that we've put in place to run and grow the enterprise. And guess what? You're part of the enterprise. We have our university majors. Now you might start off with a single product or five products in the same grouping of, let's just say weight loss or cosmetics or skincare. It could be our web development side. It could be our jewelry side. It could be our children's product, but whatever it is, your major or your focus will continue to expand because of number one, the time and duration that you work as an unfranchised business, you're exposed to more of the products and services and you begin to use them because remember, we have the shopping annuity and we're converting our normal products we buy in the store with our own exclusive brand. So you experience that. So those experiences, you share them with people that have challenges that a product or service can help them with. So becoming a product of the program and then moving in all the different directions of the university majors and understanding that we call Mark and America University a special uh, support mechanism for us because it simplifies and provides a curriculum to learn in each of the majors that we offer. And then finally, something that has helped, I can guarantee you, every successful unfranchise owner expand their business, not only within their community, but across their country and across the globe is our global meeting training seminar system. I am telling you, every new unfranchise owner has to be driven. The whole idea that this is the whole part of the glue that we have that keeps everyone working together. This is the information, the proven information, the systemization. It's trained consistently by different trainers that come from the field and the success path. So each and every opportunity you get to attend a global meeting training seminar system event, you got to take advantage of it. And if you're fortunate enough to be in an environment where you have a GMTSS locally, that's even better. These are powerful things that I can tell you that our learning center will inspire, will teach, will get you thinking about what truly you have 
as a business and your decision to become an unfranchised owner being the right decision to choose the way that you go after whatever your goals are. And basically we've seen it over nearly three decades of success and we plan on helping more and more people. We do this business for the right reasons and we make decisions for the right reasons. Registering a new unfranchised owner, it's critical. What you put in motion carries in motion. Okay, so we're spending time to teach you how to do it properly. Everybody has to understand there's a right way and wrong way in everything. And if you mess up a registration, you are going to delay and basically put water on the fire of the new enthusiasm of that new unfranchised owner who's ready to get started. So you got to do it properly. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is you've got to schedule enough time so that you can do the registration properly and explain why we do things and why we have different things to help you minimize administration and maximize the time you spend on results producing activities. These are the steps that guide new unfranchised owners to success. And we guide them through the steps of registration and helping them understand. Remember, eventually the people you take through registration will take new unfranchised owners through that same registration process. If you do it poorly, then they will end up doing it poorly. Okay, and what you do, <laughs> you know, they're going to follow and put it in excess, I will say this. So I just want you to know this portion of the Learning Center is so important. And I know a lot of you existing on franchise owners that have been in the business, but have not done a lot of partnering with new on franchise owners, you'll oftentimes have to go to your senior partner to take you through this but everyone should take the time and go through all of this information that we make available on registering a new unfranchised owner. It's so important, everything that we've talked about tonight, and it's something that's gonna help you get to that next level. I just wanna tell you that over the years, nothing has been more important than going out there and working with your unfranchised partners. Remember what we do, okay? The business is not complicated, so don't make it complicated. Learn from the beginning and go to that learning center and follow through. Even if you're an existing unfranchised owner, you definitely can go back and make a review for yourself. I am so committed to you. As an unfranchised owner and the organization that I lead and the organization that you will be leading one day, just know we're not talking years, but we're talking decades of success. So spend the time necessary to get you to position yourself so that you will be not only successful, but a hopeless success based on the systems that drive this enterprise. Know that we put a lot of time in the Unfranchised Learning Center and it's available to you. It is basically at your unfranchised management system. Go to unfranchised.com. Then you're going to go to help and support. And as soon as you click on that, it is the first button. And it's going to say Learning Center. And you're there. All right, folks. I hope you have a fabulous day. Make it your best so that you can make a difference. We'll see you at the top.